Welcome Eurovision fans and uh, I just want to make this video here. Um, today's my birthday so uh, <laughs> I had one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me and that's my reaction video was shown on live TV in Israel for my reaction to Kobe Marimi's home. So thank you so much for bringing that to my attention. <laughs> you know who you are. I appreciate it. I don't know if you want your name out or not, but um, I appreciate you so much for sending me the link to this and um, letting me know that this exists because uh, that was pretty awesome. Uh, it was a heartfelt reaction. I absolutely love the song and just thank you for everybody who's been so supportive of me. Uh, with the video. It's been an interesting journey. I, uh, I've i been at a job for a couple years now that I don't care for. Uh, sometimes it feels like my soul has been sucked out a little bit. And um, doing these videos just really brought me back to life again. And um, that song really resonated with me, returning back to your soul, returning home to yourself, who you are. Uh, just a lot of parallel things, and it's funny, I keep hearing more about Kobe, and he struggled with weight growing up, I struggled with weight growing up, I struggled with confidence like crazy, um, I was terrified to talk to girls, I, <laughs> I've got stories there, um, I was always overweight, and then losing weight, and overweight, um, I had a bit of an eating disorder type thing um, that nobody knows about. This is actually the first time I'm ever bringing it up with the exception to a couple people. Um, maybe someday I'll talk about that. Um, coming on screen was one of the hardest things that I've ever done in my life. Uh, getting out here and uh, putting myself on video because I grew up without self-confidence most of the time. Um, I've always been smart. I've always tested at a very high level. Uh, but I never had faith or confidence in myself, and that stems back from when I was a child. So today on my birthday, this is really special to kind of, uh, you know, have my reaction appreciated and having, you know, the reviews be appreciated by the people. I don't always get it right. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to uh, communicate better sometimes. Uh, I do make mistakes. I do come off as <laughs> an asshole sometimes. Uh, I try to be truthful always, but there's being truthful and being an asshole, and I'm trying to merge the two so I can still be truthful but not be, you know, a, a terrible person in the in the meantime. But yeah, I want to get in here and look at this video and share it with everybody. Uh, some of the reactors. This is basically a video of just the reactions to the Kobe song and everybody, uh, you know, they kind of culminate in there. They talk about, you know, the division from the song, the division the song brings. It's the complete opposite of toy. So you had a song that was very fast paced, uh, party type song that a lot of people loved to a more slower paced ballad, powerful voice. It's a total 180 flip from this year to last year. So uh, let's check out this video and then I'll talk to you a little bit more. But Thank you if you've listened so far. <laughs> so here it is. And it's mostly in Hebrew, so. <laughs> but there's the English with the parts. כמעט יממה אחרי חשיפת השיר הישראלי לאירוויזיון, מעריצי התחרות בעולם מתרגשים מהורות של קובי מרימי. תראה, אתה מוציא שיר ואתה לא יודע איך יקבלו אותו. הדעות חלוקות ואתה מוכן לכל דעה, אבל כשזה עובד זה... שווה את הכל. אבל דווקא דעותיו של הקהל הישראלי חלוקות. יש לו קול מאוד מאוד מיוחד לקובי, אבל זה לא משהו שאתה מצפה לראות אותו, זה לא משהו שונה ממה שהיה עד היום, מאוד מאוד ישן. מדובר בבן אדם שהוא שחקן. 
וכל הכוח של השיר והעוצמה, כנראה אנחנו נראה את זה על הבמה. טוב מאוד שיש דעות מנוגדות ושיש חילוקי דעות. אני חושב אבל שבואו נתרכז באנרגיות חיוביות. יש לנו שיר נהדר ומרגש עם מבצע מרגש ונהדר. ונשלח הנהגות חיוביות שיביא את הכבוד הראוי למדינה. כששמעו בהתחלה את השיר, אמרו מה זה תרנגולות, מה זה הבושות, מה אנחנו שולחים, אבל היוטיוב דיבר בשם עצמו. שיידי שיי אגן. הוא עשה את זה טוב, אני אוהב את הריאקשן. So cringy. <laughs> Tommy UK. I love him. I love him. Recognize him too? Toy Goy. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Eurovox. I love Eurovox as well. קולות בתחרות בעיקר מגיעים מהם, ככה שאני חושבת שיש הרי פה סיכוי מאוד מאוד טוב להגיע לעשרים הראשונה. אני רואה את עצמנו בין מקום חמש עשרה למקום עשרים. אני אהיה קצת יותר אופטימית, אני אגיד בין עשר לחמש עשרה. אני רואה את ישראל בטופ פייב. אופטימית. השופטים יצביעו לנו, השופטים יצביעו. טופ פייב. And it's funny, I'm the thumbnail, which is crazy. I never thought I'd be on a TV, let alone, you know, Israel, 8 million people. Uh, you know, not all 8.7 million people watching, but, you know, there's a lot of people that could have potentially watched that. That's just really cool um, and humbling and... Uh, it just makes me smile. I love seeing all the people that I watch on there too, because uh, I love lifting everybody up, everybody's channels, you know, uh, and like Eurovox, I've watched for years. They've been supportive and have commented on many of my videos and I comment on theirs and, you know, we just all share a love for Eurovision and I just appreciate having people like that. And <laughs> it's just... insane my little channel here but uh, I intend to put money into microphones and a camera and I also intend to get a studio that has you know a nice background um, I'm gonna do this all year round and I want to start reacting to songs I haven't heard before from Eurovision, you know, 2014, 13, 2012, you know, stuff like that. Requests. If you ever have requests, please don't feel ashamed to ask me. I would love to listen to other songs. I'm actually going to take a look at uh, Kobe Marimi did uh, Hallelujah, which is a song I absolutely love, but I've never heard his version, so I'm going to do a reaction to that at some point. Um, so, uh Yeah, it's just really humbling. I've gone through a lot of my life lacking faith and confidence in myself. I, uh, I kind of lost myself for a while there. I gained a lot of weight. And then I went to Paris, France, and I went to a bunch of churches. And um, I'm not religious, but going into Notre Dame and some of these other Sacre Coeur, uh, Arc de Triomphe, and uh, the Louvre, Places around Paris. Uh, we also went down to uh, Napoleon, La, La Fontaine Bleu. I cannot speak French, I'm sorry. <laughs> But we also walked around there. It just inspired me. It brought me back to life a little bit. And I lost weight and I started doing these things and, and really turning my life around. And then, you know, I got my master's degree. I got my master's degree in ecology and geography. And uh, from the University of Georgia, hence the Georgia shirt I wear. And um, then I lost myself again. I started doing a job that I don't love. And um, it was really hard to uh, find myself. I was just in Europe for the past couple of weeks. I went to Germany, Greece, and Ukraine. My girlfriend's in Ukraine, so I spent two weeks with her. But I feel like I found part of myself again in Greece. I had a nearly perfect day. 
I took a train in the morning. I was staying in the central of Athens, and I took a train to Piraeus. And I walked all the way around the Piraeus, the peninsula there, all the way to uh, the Olympicos Stadium. And uh, just enjoyed the day. was out in the sun. If you watch my uh, <laughs> Greece review for uh, Better Love, I started that video off in front of the sea. So, uh, yeah, I just found myself again there. And I got this motivation back that I've been missing. Traveling does that. My biggest passions in life are traveling, animals, and music. And all three can touch me. And uh, I'm the biggest animal lover in the world. I have a couple animal videos. It's funny because I have the sloth as my mascot. And um, those pictures, are, I took all those pictures that I use of the sloth. So I was in uh, Colombia. And uh, those are all my pictures, and that's what I used to start the channel with. I'll talk about the significance of why I love sloths sometime in the future. I want to make videos like this where I'm talking about my life also. You know, I want my focus to be on my reaction videos, my reviews, but I also want to, you know, show a little bit of myself. So uh, I'm kind of rambling here, but hopefully, uh, you know, 10 people out there see this and enjoy it. <laughs> And uh, like caring about my life a little bit. And you know, if I can help anybody if that happens, if I can inspire anybody in the future, you know, it's all worth it to me. So uh, I just like talking to people, interacting with people, and I've hid from people for so long. So this YouTube channel is a way to branch out again, open up again, open up my heart again, because I guess I just got to the point where I was so tired of dealing with the bad people that I also shied away from the good people. And, uh, you know, that's a place that nobody ever wants to be. But I'm so happy right now. I was telling my girlfriend how happy I am that I uh, started doing this again. And uh, really, I'm putting my focus and energy into these videos. I'm going to work. I'm working on videos. A lot of times I'm falling asleep making videos. So... Yeah, this one's a little rambly. If you stick around this long, you're a champion. <laughs> so, um, if you could, please, my biggest, biggest, biggest favor to you, please, well, you can comment it on this video. That's okay, too. Can you please give me your top tens? Because I want to make a cumulative top ten list. I have 20 top tens already, so I'm pretty happy about that. My goal is a 1,000. I know that's lofty, but we also got a lot of time. If you don't have a top ten yet, that's okay. We've got plenty of time. Just get it to me before April 30th and May 1st. I will have a premiere of your top tens and we will have a lethargic sloth channel champion for Eurovision 2019. I'll make it my banner where that beluga whale is. So, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> I'm going to continue making videos. Yes, it's my birthday, but this is what I'm happy and passionate doing. So I'm happy to work on my birthday. So for now, lethargic sloth, if I can find the right button, which is here somewhere, lethargic sloth out.